Hey guys, so this past week I went to the dentist and I got my teeth cleaned. I also got an x-ray and dental exam done and he's saying that I have six cavities and I just don't understand. I follow exactly what the dentist tells me to do which is to brush my teeth twice a day for at least two minutes each time. I floss my teeth every single night. On top of that, after I finish eating anything, I always head to the bathroom and I rinse my mouth vigorously with water just to get all the food particles out. Why is it that I can have good oral hygiene habits and still get cavities, but then People in my office that I work with, they don't have hygiene habits as good as mine and they don't have a single cavity. Like what is wrong with me? <laughs> I am just so shocked. Look at these prices for six fillings. It ends up being over $1,300 paying out of pocket. I don't understand guys. Like I think getting cavities isn't necessarily from not cleaning your teeth well enough. It probably is from diet, but not in the way that you think of sugar, but maybe, just maybe, you know, even if I'm eating healthy, I might not be getting a certain nutrient in my food that my body desperately needs to grow and build strong, healthy teeth. So I'm gonna try to figure that out. I did some research on what might be the cause of tooth decay and probably how to prevent or cure tooth decay. And I came across this book, it's called cure tooth decay. According to this book, I'm not getting enough fat soluble vitamins in my diet. So that would be vitamins A, D, E, and K. And I might be eating too many grains, you know, carbohydrates in my diet that aren't sprouted properly. So I might have to like cut back on pasta and bread, but I also have to incorporate more foods that do have fat soluble vitamins in my diet and I realized that I do not already eat those foods. The book recommended that I buy this cod liver oil and this brand doesn't have any synthetic additives in it so that's why I got it. It's a bit more expensive than others but apparently it's a high quality brand. It was like 20 something dollars for an 8 ounce bottle and I'm going to start eating one teaspoon of this every single day and see how that works out because it does have vitamin A and vitamin D in it. I also want to incorporate more organ meats into my diet. So things like liver, heart, kidney, tongue, um, those are really high in fat soluble vitamins but I called around and I checked out my local Whole Foods and Stop and Shop, Star Market, like. Well, Stop and Shop does sell heart and gizzards, but it they don't sell liver. I don't know guys, like why don't Americans eat this stuff? The reason they don't sell it is because you guys don't eat it, right? So I have to go all the way out to this farm that I found. It's in West Groton and it's a one hour drive away from where I live in Boston. They have really high quality meats and it's from locally sourced animals. They're not grass fed necessarily. Let's go check it out and see how this goes. I was just driving by to get to the farm and I came across this. I've been looking for duck eggs and wow, I just came across some. Yeah, they're called an African chicken. Oh, so this is a guinea. The gray one. The gray one. Well, what about the brown one? They're all just different kinds of chicken. And the so black one? Red Island Red, Black Ostrilope, Plymouth Rock. And mine. there's a duck. Yes, mine. <laughs> is that what determines what color egg they like, so most of them like brown eggs, but the, the yellow one right here, mm -hmm. she lays a green egg. I've never had duck egg in my life ever, and it's my first time seeing a duck egg in real life. I just bought half a dozen for two dollars. Look at the size of it, it's like the size of the palm of my hand. Chicken eggs I just bought for three dollars a dozen.
I'm in my car right now about to head into my apartment and man guys today was my lucky day because not only did I get to buy liver bone marrow and soup bones I stumbled upon the person selling fresh duck eggs for only two dollars for six I was just driving by he lives like a mile or two down from the blood farm and there it was I saw a sign I was like oh I gotta buy this duck eggs are actually really nutritious and they have more um, nutrients compared to chicken eggs normally if you eat two chicken eggs just one duck egg is enough because they're really big or at least that's what the farmer told me today I've decided that I'm going to go there once a month. I'm going to make it a part of my lifestyle to buy this, buy enough for a month and just keep going back because it's better quality, it's fresh, it's much healthier for my body. I have to tell you guys, like, I have no, like, <laughs> here's the thing. I've lived in three cities by now, right? This is actually something I've always wanted to do, like buy fresh meat from a farm. And like when I was living in Brooklyn, it's, it's first of all, I didn't know how to drive. And it's even if you do know how to drive, it's really hard to get out of the city because New York City is huge, right? And there's tons of traffic. And if you wanted to buy something like this, you just head into Manhattan and you go to the farmer's market or like go to like a specialty store, right? Everything is just so expensive. I don't even know how people can afford to eat this stuff in Manhattan unless you're like rich and you come from money or you've made a ton of money and you just don't have to worry about money anymore like budgeting or anything like that. I don't know like how a normal person like me or you know at the time low income person could afford to eat like that. Like I just thought this kind of lifestyle is for someone who is upper class. I was like much closer to having this kind of lifestyle in Texas and I would see grass-fed cows just when I'm driving by and I see these farms. So clearly I had more access to it but I just I guess I didn't prioritize it. I think I made an excuse and I justified it to myself that I can't afford it even though I didn't even bother to look at the price. Like I never bothered to do the cost comparison of my local grocery store to what the farmer would sell it for. Now that like I'm here and I have this um, teeth issue and I'm like well I really do want to have more of this in my diet. Here I am again, like I was just about to make another excuse, which is, well, this place is one hour away, it's pretty far, and I don't want to do it, it's not worth my time. I've decided, like, I need to stop living my life with excuses. If I have an excuse for why I can't do something that I want to do, I just need to drop it because I've realized after the third time, <laughs> I'm always going to have an excuse. I'm always going to come up with a new one for why I can't do something. And I hope you can take that away from this video. Whatever you wanna have in your life, you're always going to come up with an excuse for why you can't have it. And you're not gonna give yourself permission to have it. You're gonna wait for someone else to give you that permission. No one is gonna give you that permission. All the choices you make in your life are yours. <sighs> That's my message for today. So here's a price list that I got from the blood farm and I got pork pork liver for 99 cents a pound I really wanted beef but they didn't have any available when I got there so yeah but I think 99 cents a pound for liver is a great price actually and let's see so for their beef section they have a lot of organ meats available and bones they have beef bones soup bones marrow bones great price and liver tongue kidney heart look at these prices i think they're great for what you get especially considering the quality of the meat and in the lamb goat section there is liver for a dollar 99 but their tongue is a bit pricey because i guess you know every lamb and goat only has one tongue <laughs> and um well their heart and kidney i think is a good price Chicken does not have any organ meat available, and they do have veal liver for $4.99, which I probably won't get because that's a bit out of my price range. But they do have soup bones for $1.99. I do want to head over to my local stop and shop and compare the prices of their muscle meats, even though I'm not necessarily buying muscle meats, but I do want to see how their prices, these cuts of beef, compare to the blood farm. Let's head over there and check it out. 
I just left a stop and shop and I was recording some of the prices while I was there on camera and then this employee who was looking at me came up to me and asked me if I found everything okay and all of a sudden I felt really awkward and uncomfortable because I didn't know what to say to him so then I stopped recording and uh, you know I just I was just looking at the prices with my eyes so I don't really have a record aside from what I already recorded. I got over the fear of talking in front of the camera but I think the fear of recording in public in front of other people which is just really awkward I'm still not over that fear I've never vlogged before so it's weird I'm sorry please excuse me for that so if the price of meat at my local grocery store is on sale then that price is cheaper than what I would find at the blood farm if it's at the regular price then actually the price that I get at the blood farm is one to two dollars cheaper per pound and it is a higher quality cut compared to my local grocery store and much more fresh because at the blood farm they they will package it and seal and freeze it immediately so you know it's really fresh but as for the grocery store you actually don't know just how long it's been sitting there on the shelf or like when was this animal killed anyway yeah <laughs>